this packet radio built into this radio you have to have the squelch closed or else it won't get anything got it uh, nothing i'm a ham radio operator i'm listening to satellites oh i thought you might have been like tracking an uh, animal or something everybody thinks that well, there's this so many scientists out here you know it's all interesting yeah Take care. thank you have a good one all right so i just heard it that's great. Got it. How about that? All right. That was fast. Ah, cool. So now if I go, huh, I guess it doesn't show anything. Usually it shows RS0 ISS right there. When I go to the list. Hmm. Weird. Well, certainly coming in, no problem. So that means uh, the packet I transmitted was received by the International Space Station and then retransmitted. Okay, okay. KM4SYN7. I'm going to try to message him. Hi. from FM05, my grid square. All right, let's see. Okay, I don't know where the ISS is now. Should be, so a quarter way through the pass. Oh, I need to switch my frequency. Let's try it now. Almost max elevation here. Not a minute away. Let's just go ahead and begin right here. Huh. Not getting it now. Got it. TX. Hmm. I don't know how to make it do that. Damn it. Do it again. All right, so I got it. I got a message out to that guy, that person. And we are at max elevation right now. I'm gonna switch hands. I don't know how to send that. Only heard one other person here so far. Greetings from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, 437 miles away. And the from is or the first I mean, for FL first. L is last, F is first, L is last, so it means I got it from RS0 ISS. So had it hopped through another station, it would have shown the last uh, node that it had went through, and since it was directly from RS0 ISS, there's no last node. It's one thing that's hard about tracking a packet. The transmissions are so short, it's hard to know where to aim. You can't really adjust the antenna while the transmission is coming in. We've got about one minute to go in the past. I'm losing it. 
Well, I think that's it. Okay, I'm calling that a success. I didn't end up making contact with KM4SYN, but I sent him an email to see if he got my packet, and he did. He sent me a couple screenshots from APRS Droid on his phone, and you can see that my packet was received, and you can also see that it got the GPS coordinates because it plotted it on the map. It plotted my location on his map. Turning off the TNC, turning off the GPS, turning off the radio. I just had success digipeding through the UHF digipeter on the ISS. The VHF Ericsson handheld radio that had been in use for 16 years recently stopped working, so they switched it over to a UHF version of the same Ericsson handheld type radio. It's actually an Ericsson MPA. And what I did is I programmed five frequencies, and when the um, ISS is coming towards you, you want to listen higher, but you want to transmit lower. So I've got it 10 kilohertz higher on the receive and 10 kilohertz lower on the transmit. Okay.